Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chem Insider. In today's video, we are going to start a new chapter of hydro organic chemistry of our class 12 that is aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. So we all know certain hydrocarbons usually have carry certain oxygen atom along with carbon and hydrogen. And oxygen atom plays a very important role in the hydrocarbon compounds. If there is a presence of oxygen compound attached with uh, oxygen attached with uh, carbon, usually they give away certain different properties. And most of uh, the other elements which we are going to observe in the periodic table, oxygen is the second most uh, obviously found element irrespective of carbon and hydrogen in the hydrocarbon. That is especially in the case of organic compounds. In the previous uh, chapter of all the alcohols, phenols and keto, alcohols, phenols and ethers, we discussed about how oxygen is bonded to carbon atom, to a single bond. Now, what happens if the carbon atom is bonded with oxygen in a double bond? So, if you consider, let us, uh, let us write up a chapter name, that is aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. So, if you consider a carbon atom being bonded with oxygen through a double bond, if carbon is bonded with a double bond in any hydrocarbon, then this particular carbon with oxygen double bond is called a carbonyl group. This C double bond O group is called the carbonyl functional group. And this carbonyl functional group has several different derivatives depending upon the elements such as carbon, hydrogen or oxygen which is being attached to the carbonyl carbon. Okay, The compound with the having this particular formula C double bond O is called the carbonyl functional group. This is called the carbonyl group and these carbonyl groups have several different derivatives depending upon the elements which are attached to this particular carbon. So in this carbonyl carbon group oxygen is electronegative when compared to oxygen is electronegative when compared to this carbon atom and this carbon present in the carbonyl is sp2 hybridized. So this is an sp2 hybridized carbonyl carbon. So the group of this C double bond O is called the carbonyl group. This oxygen is called the carbonyl oxygen. This carbon is called the carbonyl carbon. And depending upon the elements or atoms which are attached to this carbon, we are going to differentiate several different compounds which have a carbonyl group present in it. And further, this aldehyde, ketone and carboxylic acid are very important in an organic compound. That is because they have a wide variety of roles in forming certain compounds and giving the odor to those compounds and flavoring those compounds. We are going to discuss all about that in this particular chapter of aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. So now, if you consider further different type of organic compounds which have this carbonyl group and they are classified into three or four types depending upon the atoms which are attached to that particular carbonyl carbon. If this carbonyl carbon, if this carbonyl carbon is attached to at least one hydrogen, if it is at least attached to at least one hydrogen if it is attached to one hydrogen or it may be more if it is attached to one hydrogen and one carbon one hydrogen and one carbon then those are called aldehydes if it is attached to minimum of one hydrogen it has to be attached with one hydrogen at a minimum case and it should attach to a carbon group or it may be a or uh, right, any group. So if it is attached to one carbon and one hydrogen, then those are called aldehydes and their general formula will be in like this R, C double bond O, H. These are called the aldehydes. In the second case, if it is attached to two carbon atoms, if it is attached to two carbon atoms, if the carbonyl carbon is attached to two carbon groups, then it is called as RR, known as ketones. This particular compound is called the ketones. That is, 
if the carbonyl carbon is attached to two carbon atoms it has to be attached to two carbon atoms in order to be then called as ketones next is a third type of group where if the carbonyl carbon is attached to is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon if it is attached to one hydrogen or a carbon on one side and one oxygen and one oxygen of OH group if it is attached to a carbon or a hydrogen on one side and it should be attached to oxygen of the OH moiety then those compounds are called carboxylic acids these are called carboxylic acid these are called carboxylic acids that is if the carbonyl carbon is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon it may be attached to a hydrogen or it may be attached to a carbon but it should be attached to OH group oxygen of the OH group then those compounds are said to be carboxylic acid next is if the carbonyl carbon is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon if it is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon and and attached to one of one nitrogen of NH2 group if it is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon on one side and it has to be attached to nitrogen of an NH2 group forming compounds such as R H C double bond O NH2 then these are called amides these are called amides if the carbonyl carbon is attached to a hydrogen or carbon on one side and it must be attached to nitrogen of NH2 group on the other side then that particular compound is called the amides next if it is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon on one side if it is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon and one halogen one halogen then those are called acyl halides then those compounds are called acyl halides of the formula R or H C double bond O X these compounds are called acyl halides okay that is if you start from first if it is attached to at least one hydrogen and one carbon if it is attached to one hydrogen on one side it may be attached to one or two carbon atoms on the other side then those are called aldehydes if it is attached to two carbons on either sides then those are called ketones if it is attached to one hydrogen or one carbon on one side and oxygen of OH group on the other side then they give us carboxylic acid if the carbonyl carbon is attached to one hydrogen or carbon on one side and nitrogen of ammonia group on the other side then those are called amides if it is attached to hydrogen or carbon on one side and bonded with a halogen atom on the other side then those are called acyl halides next further there are two more important particular carbonyl groups those are esters and anhydrides those are esters and anhydrides which are only nothing but the derivatives of carboxylic acid esters and anhydrides esters they are of the form R C double bond O O R prime anhydrides anhydrides are R C double bond O O C double bond O R so here esters are nothing but the combination of carboxylic acid carboxylic acid and alcohol esters are nothing but the derivatives of carboxylic acid with alcohol whereas anhydrides are just the derivatives of two different carbo two different or similar carboxylic acids okay esters are the derivatives of carboxylic acid with alcohol whereas anhydrides are the carb derivatives of carboxylic acid with one more carboxylic acid okay so clearly we have six types of carbonyl groups aldehydes ketones carboxylic acids and 
amides halide acyl halides and further the two important cases those are esters and anhydrides which are nothing but the derivatives of carboxylic acid with alcohol and carboxylic acid with another alcohol it will be same or different okay so these are the seven different carbonyl groups which we usually form in an organic compound next whenever you come across the carbonyl group present here we need to know about how this carbonyl group is forming a particular geometry and what is the shape of this carbonyl group present in a given organic compound for that case the carbonyl group has carbon bonded with oxygen and it is sp2 hybridized right this is sp2 hybridized carbon as we know sp2 hybridized carbon is usually planar in nature so if i write this particular carbon with their electronic configuration carbon which has six electrons so electronic configuration will be 1s2 2s2 2p2 where it get excited to form a configuration of one electron each in the 2s and 2p orbitals such as like this forming a four bond okay when it overlaps with oxygen when it overlaps with oxygen the two bonds of carbonyl group these two bonds okay these two bonds will be because of the overlapping of these two electrons with the different other atom okay and this particular one bond will be because of the overlapping of the electron at the p orbital so clearly we have one empty uh, we have one unpaired electron at the p orbital this particular orange one okay the unpaired electron of p orbital of the carbon atom will be in of the shape if this if you consider this as a carbon it has three bonds like this one with oxygen and two with different other compounds which i have discussed earlier now it has one more p orbital if you consider this px py there will be one pz orbital which will be perpendicular to the plane of carbon and oxygen bond such as like this similarly oxygen will also have a pair of uh, uh, electron an unpaired electron in the pz orbital and two lone pair of electrons in it one electron being bonded with carbon okay so if you write down for the oxygen it has two lone pair of electrons okay so these are the two lone pair of electrons one unpaired electron here and one unpaired electron over here so one electron will be bonded with these two particular atoms and there is one pz electron which is lying perpendicular so therefore the p orbital of the electron in the p orbital of carbon overlaps sideways with the electron in the p orbital of oxygen that is this is a sideways overlapping this particular sideways overlapping induces a pi bond the sideways overlapping of p orbital always give us a pi bond so since there is two electron one from carbon and one from oxygen which is sideways overlapping therefore we induce a second bond between carbon and oxygen which is nothing but the pi bond so if you consider carbon and oxygen bonds present in this carbonyl group one is a covalent bond because of sigma derivation of carbon and oxygen one is a carbon oxygen sigma bond and one is carbon oxygen pi bond okay carbon oxygen pi bond therefore carbon and oxygen clearly have a double bond because of this particular double bond and the lone pair of electrons present on oxygen this complete carbon oxygen group of the carbonyl group will be planar will be planar in geometry on the bound bond angle and the bond angle between these three bonds is found to be exactly 120 degree which is quite oftenly found in case of trigonal planar compounds like for example boron trifluoride this is just quite similar to the boron trifluoride compounds of 120 degree bond angle with respect to each other in case of the carbon oxygen double bond present in the carbonyl group so this is about how the structure of the carbonyl group is formed further what we observe is since the oxygen present here is electronegative the carbon and oxygen bond is having a dipole moment it has certain dipole moment because oxygen is more electronegative when compared to carbon oxygen is more electronegative 
when compared to carbon as a result oxygen has a resonance structure as a result oxygen has a this carbonyl group has a resonance structure one in which it is a neutral group one in which it is a neutral carbonyl group and the other case oxygen carries a negative charge carbon carries a positive charge so these two are the resonance structure of the carbonyl group okay because oxygen has a negative charge it is said to be a nucleophile it is a nucleophilic center it is called a nucleophilic center and acts as lewis base o minus of the carbonyl group in its resonance structure acts as a nucleophilic center or which is also called as the lewis base carbon with a positive charge acts as electrophilic center it acts as electrophilic center which is also called as the lewis acid okay so this is how the particular structure of the carbonyl group is found to be formed and further we have discussed about several different types of carbonyl groups present in the next class we are going to discuss about iupac and common name nomenclature of aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids if you have understood the topics which i have discussed here please do subscribe to my channel and share this video among your friends thank you for watching